you're out in L.A., you're shooting Clueless, and you're not a guy who loves L.A. to begin with. You, you love New York. But the thing that made you go back to New York was when you were shooting Clueless, at some point you got mugged. Yeah. So then I left, and I've been in New York City ever since. Is that a bad move, though? Because they say yeah, if you're going to be in the movies, you got to be out in L.A. That's where all the action is. Yeah, I don't think it was. I mean, I kind of wanted to I wanted to do theater as well, and right. it was a legit thing. And I like New York more, and I, I thought, eh. I'll and New York is your lucky charm because uh, you get to New York, you meet a girl, and that girl ends up being your wife. Right. Right? Literally right when I got in here, too. First check you meet. Boom. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. it. She, uh, m- by the way, very possibly could have been the very first person I met. Wow. Yeah. How, where do you meet her? I like a love story. She was, um, it, she used to work for this PR firm. Yeah. And they, and I just joined this PR firm right after I did Clueless. It hadn't come out or anything. And so she was in the New York office. And so I came out here and she was kind of overseeing everything. So you meet her there. You ask her out on a date. Yeah. You were attracted to her? Yeah, I thought she was really cool. But we I also didn't know anybody here. We started talking, and I remember thinking, like, oh, God, this girl is so much cooler than any other girl that I, I know. And, you know, she'd been through she'd been through a lot in, uh, in her life, and we had just started talking about real stuff. And I thought, oh, this is... I remember thinking, like, oh, she's like a woman and not just like a girl. What's nice is, in this love story, is that you were not the famous guy from Clueless at that point. You're pretty much flying under I the radar. I was the famous guy from Halloween 6. <laughs> Halloween 6. So she probably hadn't seen that. <laughs> so she probably figured you're some down and out actor, right? And didn't really see you as somebody who was this big star. So she loved you for who you were, right? I think so. Yeah. And and then when Clueless comes out, she's probably like, wow. Well, she had to work on it. It was it, We started kind of hanging out a little bit, and then she had to go see the movie because it, hadn't co- it was about to come out. And then she said, you never told me, like, you have a big part in that. <laughs> yeah, you're not a schlub. And so, so I think that she was like, wow, you, that was so much more than I thought was expecting that you were like, I thought you'd have like a scene in that movie. And how good that you downplayed it. I what tried that so movie? hard. I tried so hard to play it off cool. 